Charlotte Brea Edney has our report. Today, the court heard for the first time from one of the defendants. 19-year-old Henry Long was driving the car behind which PC Harper became entangled in a tow rope and died. So how long is this going to last? Well, the protests at depots causing the backlog in fuel deliveries could be resolved quite quickly. But it's the international situation that's much harder to predict. Russia provides around 20% of the UK and Europe's diesel supplies. But as countries simultaneously trying to wean themselves off Russian energy. There's simply an imbalance between supply and demand. Charlotte, take us through what happened there. Well, again, extremely windy, extremely wet weather here, causing some pretty rough seas. And that's what sparked a major incident on board the P&O ferry behind me. The move into Tier 4 has come as no surprise to people in Oxfordshire, but that doesn't make it any easier. Unlike last time, there's no end date, so residents and businesses are left wondering how long they can carry on. Well, this is very much an ongoing investigation. In fact, we've just seen sniffer dogs here at the scene. And this is where PC Andrew Harper came last night at around 11.30pm to attend to reports of a burglary. With support thin on the ground here, a boost this morning from across the pond. America saying they were eager to do business. People who worry about the UK crashing out of the European Union, that's the phrase they use. The votes have been counted. Charlotte Breer Edney is in Reading. Charlotte, what are the locals saying tonight? Well, Sangeeta, as you'd expect, some very mixed views here in Reading. On the one hand, we've seen some jubilation. On the other, certainly some shock and disappointment. This evening, there is still a police presence in Carruthers Town. Officers say they're carrying out a post-mortem examination on the body of the woman. But there's still no confirmation as to exactly how she died or what lay behind the events that unfolded this morning. What's incredible about this story is that post office made so many of its postmasters and mistresses feel they were the only ones experiencing problems, while at the same time taking hundreds of them to court. Even now, no one at post office has been held to account. Well, this is the third protest in as many weeks here in Oxford, specifically about racial issues. Today, protesters brought the city's streets to a standstill, and as you can see, they've just taken a seat behind me in protest. Charlotte Bria Edney is having all the fun at the fair. Charlotte. Yes, plenty of excitement and games going on here on the South Bank to celebrate the launch of the new DC Comics film Shazam. Now, we've got the smell of popcorn in the air. Fans and photographers are here to meet the stars. But why, I hear you ask, a fun fair? Well, to tell us none other than the hero and the villain themselves. Nice, oh, Mark! Mark. Hey, this is so weird hey, that we would all find here, each other right here. here. Wow! Amazing. All through the morning, more and more visitors have been arriving here. There's a sign in the car park to say the queue to get in is more than two and a half hours long. But that's not putting people off. Some have come all the way from Wales to experience this. Well, that's it from the weekend team. We're back with Good Morning Britain tomorrow from 6am. Do have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.